Hey guys, we're gonna go on over and check in with Chef Corbin with One World Catering and see what he's got cooking up in the kitchen. Hi, Chef Corbin, how you doing? Hi, I'm doing great, how are you? Great, and it looks like you're here with Quincy. Hi, Quincy. Hi. What are we, what are we doing today? So we have some fresh blueberries. Yum. And we're gonna make some fresh whipped cream to go with them. Fresh whipped cream with blueberries, that sounds awesome. Oh, let's, let's get it started. Okay, here we go. We start with some heavy whipping cream. We're gonna pour that into a good sized bowl. You wanna make sure you have a big enough bowl because when you whisk, it gets a little messy. Okay. A big bowl, help it stay contained. Then we're gonna add some, just a little bit of cinnamon sugar to the whipped cream. Yum. A little flavor. Important. And then Quincy's going to stir like mad. <laughs> make sure they can see. Okay. So you have to stir really, really, how does the stirring make it into, like into a whipped cream? I guess. Well, the tool that he's using is called a whisk. And what that does is incorporate little tiny air bubbles into the whipped cream. And the whipped cream is thick enough and has enough fat molecules that it gradually starts to rise and rise and get fluffier and lighter until eventually it's fully whipped cream. Wow. You could also use a hand mixer or a, a stand mixer to do this if you didn't want to use your own muscle power, but I think it's uh, even more rewarding when you whisk it by hand. Mm. Quincy, you need a break yet? Um, you want me to take over? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish the whisking. It does take some effort. And we're just gonna put this right on top of our blueberries. We're gonna put this on our blueberries, but we have one more ingredient we're gonna add first, and that would be some maple syrup to the, to the blueberries. And that's why we didn't add very much sugar to our whipped cream, because we're adding a little bit of maple syrup to the blueberries. So. I'm like mesmerized. You see, a little foamy and bubbly. And we'll, we'll just keep going and eventually it'll be light and fluffy. Man, you gotta have a lot of strength, I would say. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot of strength, it just takes a lot of endurance, really. Mm. I can see it. It's definitely getting lighter and fluffier. Uh-oh, making a little bit of a mess here. Uh. Good thing it's my own kitchen. <laughs> um, wow. Almost. Quincy, why don't you go ahead and put the maple syrup on the berries? Hey Quincy, do you mind pulling back that blueberry bowl just a little bit? Love to watch you. To see the amount you're gonna put on. Not too much, just enough coating. There we go. Gorgeous. Hey Quincy, what's your favorite fruit? Uh, my favorite fruit, fruit is probably strawberries. Strawberries? Those are really good. I do love strawberries. I bet strawberries would be really good with the whipped cream too. Oh yeah, any kind of berries would be good in this dish. Or even bananas or whatever fruit you like. Pineapples, mm. peaches, and summertime. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Does it look fluffy enough? Yeah. Look at that. See how it's nice and light and fluffy now? Wow, All would right. you hold that up to the camera for a second so we can get it nice nice. That looks beautiful. Okay, and we're gonna put a big dog throw on mm. the blueberries. That was really right. satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yes, that looks so good. Oh, thank you guys so much. Quincy, you gotta take a bite. You gotta tell me how it is. I think it's gonna be good. Mm. Okay, we get the we get the Quincy nod of approval. <laughs>
Thank you guys so much. That looks amazing. We'll be right back.